Hi, this is Megan with Beta Holique, and today I'm going to show you how to do a basic four strand round braid using flat faux suede cord. So this does take up quite a bit of the cord. You are going to want to have extra length for what you're wanting to do. You might need to experiment and see how much length you lose to find out how much you will need. What you're gonna do is take four pieces of a flat cord. I have this microfiber faux ultra suede and tie them together in an overhand knot. I'm using four colors just so that you can keep track of which strand is which. Of course, you can use all one color like I did in this braid here or you can use just two colors, it's up to you. You're gonna need a way to secure your cord to your work surface. You can use a safety pin and put it on the leg of your pants like you do with friendship bracelets. You can keep the ends looped if you're using one or two colors and put it on a hook. I'm just going to tape it to my table. This braid is pretty simple. Go ahead and separate your strands. Okay, now you're going to take the leftmost braid and you're going to bring it around the middle two and then through the center of them. And then you're going to take the rightmost braid and bring it around the middle two. And then through the center of them. And when you're going to bring these around, since you wanna create a round braid and not a flat braid, make sure that you actually wrap the flat part around and create that tube-like shape. And those are the only two steps, so you're just going to repeat. You're gonna take the leftmost strand and bring it over one shy of the end. And like I said, wrap it around so that you're gonna get a nice shape on that. You're gonna bring it back between those two and pull it tight. I'm actually gonna move this to the edge more so that we can get a better angle. Okay. And then you take the right piece and you bring it back around the middle too and then between them that tight. The first length is gonna look kind of wonky so you'll go ahead and you'll just cut that off later don't worry about it. Take your leftmost piece and bring it around the middle two and then between them you can start to see it kind of looking the way that it's supposed to look. Rightmost piece over the middle two and then between them. And again, make sure that you're getting that twisted around so that it, it should go in a total spiral, every piece. Two should go this way, two should go this way. And then left piece back behind the middle two and then over. Right piece behind and over. And if you forget which side you're on, you're just gonna start with the one that's slightly above. 
So you can see that the left piece is raised a little bit higher than the rest of the braid right now, than the rest of these strands. That's the one you're going to work with. And make sure that your strands don't get twisted the wrong way as you're working. Or else it'll show twists in the outside of the braid. I'm just going to do a little bit more of this just so you can really get a handle on what it looks like. And just keep going over two and then back one. Left piece over two and back one. And it does look nicest when it's pulled pretty tight. Okay, so you can see that it gives us this nice round braid. And to finish this, you can either just knot the ends. You can loosen your first knot if your top part's messy, or you can go down far enough and do a new knot. You can just do overhand knots to tie it off. Or if you want to put it into a cord end, like I did here. If your cord end is solid, like if you're using, for example, a Kumi Hemo finding and it's a solid finding, you can um, simply take some clear tape and put it around the braid and then snip it with scissors and glue it in. Um, for these ones here, how you can see to the end, I actually um, just tied off really tightly with some nylon beading thread um, and then clipped right above so that you can't see it. But um, be careful and always secure around the braid before you cut the end off um, or else it will unravel and it will get really messy. But otherwise, that is how you do a four-strand round braid.